the shot looked perfect to me. So now we out here tracking them. Man, that was some that was some awesome footage. He's gotta be out here somewhere. We looking for him right now. Pretty sure he couldn't have got too far. Yeah, we was clean through him. These turkeys are tough, man. Hey guys, I'm Trevor Olson. I work at Central Kansas Whitetails, locally operated here in Great Bend, Kansas, about right in the middle of it. Um, I'm going into my eighth year of guiding and my fourth year of managing the whole operation. So it's been really fun. We've had a lot of good hunts, met a lot of good people. Um, met my new friend here at Lafayette. We had a great hunt. Uh, and what we do here is uh, we provide opportunities for people that don't get the opportunities in their where they live or you know at home. Um, we manage I don't know 10,000 plus acres and going on more of some of the best Kansas hunting ground that's around. Um, we do our best to put everybody on a deer and have fun while we're doing it. And same thing with turkeys. Um, we're going to do anything we can to put you on a deer or turkey and. Make sure you have a great time while you're here. Um, we enjoy the camaraderie and the stories um, that come along with it. Um, just to tell you a little bit more about our lodge, uh, you can see here or in the next video, um, we got a really nice lodge. Um, we can sleep up to eight people. Um, we got a fully stocked uh, kitchen. Make yourself at home. We do two meals a day. And they're all good. Uh, if I stood up, you could tell. Um, uh, when you get back from a hunt, you know, you, you can have your drinks. We have a shop out back. Um, there's a lot of uh, stories told, a lot of good times, a lot of memories made back there. And we do that all while getting the meat from one of our big bucks that we just killed. So uh, it's a great time. Uh, same thing with turkeys. We get three days with the turkey hunter, so we make the most of it every time. Uh, Lafayette here tagged out uh, first morning. First, uh, first hour. Or, yeah, first <laughs> hour of the first day. So, um, as you see in one of his videos, uh, he came and filmed me on my first uh, uh, bow hunt with a turkey. Now, I haven't hunted turkey in like seven years because... Um, I'm guiding, and when I'm not guiding, I'm taking a buddy or a kid or someone who else would like to go. So today was my first day actually getting in the woods again with me pulling the trigger. And you guys are going to see how it turns out. Um, I can let Lafayette kind of go into that. But um, we had a great hunt. We had a good time doing it. Um, we made some really good memories. And that's something that's going to stick with me forever. I shot my first turkey with a bow. Um, it didn't end it didn't end like I wanted it to, but uh, I've come to realize in seven years of guiding, uh, bow hunting doesn't always end like you want it to end. And, uh, you know, that's, that's part of it. And if you haven't done it long enough, you'll, you'll soon realize that sometimes it's not going to end right. Um, I don't think there's anything that me and Lafayette could have done differently on this hunt. Um, we used all the right arrows. We put in time uh, shooting, practicing. We set everything up before the turkeys came. We did everything right. Um, shot was good. It just didn't turn out like we wanted it to. And, you know, aside from not firing the bird and going, seeing him doing all that, we had a great hunt. And that's something we're going to remember for a long time to come. Great so I'm so happy that we got it on film for everybody to see and for me to go back and remember. Um, it's something that won't leave me forever. And I, I'm happy that I have the opportunity to show my friends and family, uh, you know, our hunt and how it ended, uh, what happened through it, the good and the bad. Um, I think that's all important on a hunt. You know, you're gonna experience some bad things. 
um, that you don't want to experience, but it's part of it. Um, you know, we just hope the animals that we shoot at either die quick or don't die and make a full recovery. Um, we, we respect these animals a lot and they provide a lot for our families. So they, and they provide a lot of good times, a lot of good memories and a lot of good friendships made. Um, I can't tell you how many friendships have been made at this table when I'm sitting there right here just talking over a beer, over a steak, you know. So that's something we can't forget when the bad times come, you know, it's, a, it's part of it and we learn from it and we move on. So on to the next hunt. Um, I can't wait until I can be back in the blind with life yet here filming. Uh, who knows what's next? Uh, I'm excited either way. Yes. Yeah, so, next season I might come back and give you a couple more. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Um, but, you know, I invite anybody that's interested in turkey hunting, even if you're a beginner, to come check us out. You can find us at centralkansaswhitetails.com or at WTA Outfitters. Um, you know, we, we can take anybody. We, can, we took a kid that was nine, year old, nine years old shooting a 12 gauge tagged out his second day with two giant birds. Um, we took another gal that had never hunted turkeys. She tagged out with two giant toms. One was a double beard and she doubled up at the same setup. So, you know, we can, we can work with just about anybody. You don't have to have any knowledge. You just, just, just have to have the uh, drive to want to learn and uh, a good attitude about it. You know, we're gonna have a good time. So, thanks again for watching the videos and support my boy Lafayette. Um, keep tuned, man. It's going to be good. Peace.